Good morning dear student let us start the class today we are going to learn the journey of food from the farms to our home that means how food are produced in the farm and it reaches to our home then we can eat uh, the name of the chapter is food production let us start the class now before start going to the actual topic let us recall what we have learned in the previous topic of the same chapter food production now if you look carefully in the picture the first picture is the selection of the crops or the grains or the seeds that the farmers want to uh, do farming on their land isn't it so they will select okay the select the particular types of grains or seeds of crops okay then in the next picture you can see that the farmers are plowing the field okay why they are plowing the field because for the crops for the seeds to germinate or for the plants to grow in a farm the soil has to be softened okay so what they do they crush the soil they turn the lift it okay they do it with the help of animals that is a traditional method of farming nowadays more convenient and efficient way of doing farming is with the help of tractors or machines so these animals or machines what they do they crush the soil okay they crush they lift the soil they turn it upside down so with the help of the animals or um, tractors or machines they do that then after doing this uh, after uh, after plowing what they do they place the seed in the third picture you can see they place the seed on the soil okay and then what they do they covered with a thin layer of soil because if you don't cover the uh, seeds with a thin or a layer of soil it will uh, it will be blown away either by strong wind or by heavy flood if heavy uh, or rainfall comes it will flow away with the water okay now after the process of the seeds have been put in the soil are known as sowing okay we already got that sowing s o w i n g sowing okay now the process of uh, putting the seeds and covering with a loose layer of soil is known as sowing after sowing the field is watered with uh, to help the seeds to germinate okay the fields are watered if you don't water the fields the seeds will not germinate and you already got in the previous chapters for the germination the seeds has to be what they need air water sunlight and nutrients from the soil so that is why the soil is crushed lifted or turned upside down for the air and water and also sunlight and nutrients from the soil so that it reaches the seed so this is the process of sowing and growing plants okay so afterwards what happened when the plants grow so that process is known as harvesting that means we cut the plants whatever is important for us whatever fruits or vegetables or grain is required to us we cut it and we keep it so this is the process that we have learned in the last class now let us go what happens after harvesting harvesting is the process where fully grown plants which give rise to which give flowers or fruits okay then the useful part of the plants are collected from them that is called harvesting okay so in the, <clears throat> not only fruits or grains sometimes we take the leaves or stem also okay depending on the type of uh, vegetable or fruit or crops we are growing okay so different plant has got different uh, their useful <clears throat> useful things for us and we are taking accordingly all right then what happens after harvesting harvesting is done by people with the help of machines okay you can see in paddy fields or in rice fields women or men are cutting down with the knives okay so now these machines are also helping people in harvesting that means cutting the important things from the plants for us okay then what happens after all this harvesting after har harvesting what they are doing they are putting the important things okay not like the rice or the grains or the fruits or vegetables in bags you can see in the picture below they are keeping in bags and they are storing in a place that place is known as godowns okay the storage place for keeping harvested foods are called godowns now this godown is a safe place for keeping the food okay why i am calling it a safe place because these godowns 
are maintained. These godowns are kept dry and airy. They are also kept free from insects and animals like rats. Okay, so they are being kept kept dry and airy. Why it is kept dry? Otherwise, it will spoil the food and airy for the air to blow. Okay, because we have to keep the food fresh also. And insects or animals may spoil the food or eat the food. So it has been kept in a safe place. That is why the godowns are called safe place. Now what happens from these godowns? Okay, these are big godowns where you can see rice bags or lentils. Okay, or different kinds of pulses are being kept. Okay, now these are storage place or godowns. From these godowns what happen? Food is transported to the main market. Okay, from this go down, food is being carried to different parts of the local market. Okay, and from this local market, we can buy the food that is required for us. And from this local market, food reaches our home and we can eat. Okay, so in the picture, you can see a boy is having the vegetables because he has, his parents has bought the food from the local market. And these local market vendors, the people who are selling the food, are getting the food from the godowns. Okay, where the where people are keeping there to in a safe place to preserve the food so that it doesn't get affected or spoiled. Okay, children. So this is the process of how food are grown. Okay, what is a farm? What is farmers? What are what is farming? Okay, then. We have learned about how food or crops are grown in the paddy fields. There is also a, a three, uh, two, three steps in growing the food. Then what happens? One the, uh, once the plants have reached to its full, uh, has grown to its size, then what happens? Harvesting happens. That means we cut the food and we keep it. We keep in where? We keep in go downs. Okay, go down is a safe place and it is also safe from animals or insects. So that it, we can preserve the food there. From the godown, food is transported from the, lo from the godowns to the local market. And from the local market, we can purchase or we can buy the things and we can have them. So when we eat all these kinds of food, what we are getting? We are getting nutrients so that our body is healthy. Okay. So based on the topics that we have discussed today, I have taken two questions here. The first question is name two foods which are stored in godowns. Okay, so many foods are stored in godowns. You give two examples where food are kept in godowns. Okay. The next is name two first food grown by humans. So it is also given in the book. Okay, two first food grown by humans. That means in the farming has taken place on earth for the first time in which two food items have been grown was been grown by humans on the planet earth the new words that we have learned today are go downs and storage okay so storage is this process of keeping the food okay or keeping anything so since we are learning about food production so we i am saying keeping the food okay and go downs is the place where food are kept okay uh, so this is the class for today and for homework you can do train my brain page number 10 you can do in the textbook using a pencil and if you have any doubt you can uh, drop a message in my whatsapp number and um, these two questions that we have that i have asked just now i'll be uploading in the google classroom okay so with this i conclude my video thank you and have a nice day